Alright, I thought it was time to do another review. So I wanted to look at something that I'm pretty excited about because I love chess. I don't ever get to play it. I don't know anybody really that plays anymore. But I love it. And I love collecting interesting chess sets. So a few weeks ago I found out that there is a DC chess set in the works and I was very excited to start collecting it. Each piece is sold individually by a company called Eagle Moss, which is a British company, I believe. These are being imported by various places. Batman here I got from an eBay seller in England, but I have a good number of them on pre-order from Things from Another World, which is a pretty nice comic shop online. So this is what came with Batman. You have the piece himself, who is a little bit taller than I expected. Um, we'll look at Batman later. Let's look at the books that it came with. It came with this introduction booklet, which has a nice picture of three of the figures. Let's hope this works out well on my camera. Some of the features of these sets. Metalized, hand-painted finish. Pawns, such as Commissioner Gordon, stand on shallow bases. White pawns have... Is this showing up in the light at all? How can I do this? Glare. White pawns. Bases feature the bat symbol, while black bases... Black pawn bases feature... Scary Joker cards. Sorry, Sinister Joker cards. Figures have a ring symbol for easy identification, and there is a legend of what they are. Which is good, because a lot of these choices were clearly arbitrarily made. Um, there's a little comparison of how they will look next to each other. Pawns, very small, next to bishops and knights, and queens and kings and... Rooks. No, that's not a rook. There's no rook on here. How dare they? Anyway, this page I found to be the most interesting as it shows you who is going to be on each side. I think, uh, what, about 16 of them have been announced last I checked. But this has all of them. The white side, we've got Batwoman and Huntress as the Rooks, Batgirl and Red Robin as Knights, Nightwing and Robin as Bishops, Catwoman is the Queen, Batman is the King. And as Pawns we have the Question, some guy named Batwing never heard of, Black Bat also never heard of, Commissioner Gordon, Alfred Pennyworth as real. Katana and Black Canary. I should have read this part up front. The characters are either the latest incarnation, as with Batman and Robin, or they are in their classic are classic in appearance, as in the Joker. So it's gonna be a curious mix of styles. Here we have Tim Drake, I believe, as Red Robin. Although I am more familiar with him as just Robin, but we've got Damien as Robin. Then over here we've got Two-Face and the Riddler and Ra's al Ghul and Black Mask, all of what appear to be quite classic looks. Maybe they haven't changed in recent comics. I don't know. I don't read comics in any current fashion. The Black Team. For Pawns we have Red Hood, Ventriloquist, that's cool, Black Mask, Hush, Bane. Wow, Pawn, huh? I would have made him like the Knight, but as I said, these choices seem to be pretty arbitrary. Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, Mr. Freeze, Rooks, we have Man Bat, Man Bat, and Killer Croc, Two-Face, and the Penguin as Knights, Ra's al Ghul as a Bishop, along with the Riddler, excellent. I love Ra's al Ghul. And Harley Quinn and the Joker as King and Queen, and Harley Quinn was just announced along with Bane. And so I pre-ordered them just the other day. The next page of this introduction talks about the magazine that comes with each piece. There's a profile of the character. Sorry, that's the profile of the character. 
gallery with images, presumably. The Long Halloween is a fantastic story. Rules and moves. Now that's a really good idea, actually. You might get collectors, DC collectors, who are not actually chess players, and they can learn how to play. Gotham Guide, an encyclopedic overview of DC lore, focusing on a relevant subject. In this example, the Batcave. I'm guessing all of this stuff comes from that magazine there, Batman's. Rank and File, the character's tactics, prowess, and weakness, seen in terms of chess. Interesting. And then more on the rules of chess, free with issue one. A, an essential, concise beginner's guide to the rules of the game of chess, DC style. And then pictures of other stuff you can buy, such as the board. I really want to get this board. It looks great. I mean, a bat symbol made out of bats. What could be greater? Also, a bat emblem signifying the white side. And Joker cards, I believe, signifying the black side. Unfortunately, I think Things from Another World has it for about $70, which seems like a lot to pay for just a board. Then again, I'm going to be paying between $15 and $20 a piece for the chess pieces, so I might as well have a really nice chess set. Sorry, chess board to go with the chess set. And then there's also a binder, which can hold the 16 issues of the magazine. Wait, there should be 32. Does that mean I have to buy two binders? What? The binder's only 10 or 11 bucks, that's not bad. I probably... Well, depending on how much I like this magazine, I will get it. Um, it's th thicker and feels like really heavy-duty paper. Much better than I was expecting it to be. A hand-painted metallic resin, official DC-approved piece. Neat. So, what is in this? On the back, issue two is the Joker as the Black King, which I wish I had, but I don't yet. So this probably just has the stuff we just looked at in the introduction book. Nice pictures. It's a very large piece of paper, bigger than standard 8.5 by 11. But then that's not a common standard in the UK, is it? stuff about Batman. So, you know, I probably know most of the stuff they're going to say about Batman. It's probably on a fairly low or... Well, I don't know. This looks like it might be dealing with newer stuff that I'm not familiar with. But if it talks about Bane breaking Batman's back, that's probably good. Yeah, this looks like newer stuff that I'm not familiar with because I don't read card current comics. And then how to play chess. Well, I kind of know how to play chess. Although I'm sure I could improve. So I'll have to read through this at some point. I wish these were a little cheaper, but frankly, I'm going to buy them anyway, and it doesn't matter how much they're going to cost. There have been many chess sets over the years which I have wished I could buy. There were some great looking Lord of the Rings themed sets a few years ago that I really, really wanted to get, but they were around $400 each, so that just was not possible. So, Batman, the White King, standing atop a gargoyle, as he should be. Let's see if I can get him in frame. There we go. Um, his suit is silver instead of gray, but or black, but it looks really nice. I quite like it. His cape is a muted dark blue. His base has on both sides the king emblem. That's handy. So both your opponent and you can see which piece somebody is. Um, here is my handy dandy Star Wars figure. Um, I guess they're pretty close to the same scale. Three and three quarter inch. Batman's a little thinner looking, it would appear. But he's perched atop a gargoyle, so that makes him taller. And hey, why not? Figure Arts Super Camera Bump Tatoba. Let's see if I can get him standing up. So atop his gargoyle and base, Batman is as tall as a Figure Arts. Isn't that great? Um, not much else really to say about Batman. 
But I got piece number three from Things from Another World the other day. This was the only one they had in stock when I ordered Harley Quinn and Bane and a couple others. Um, but in theory, under the next several weeks, I should receive a few more pieces. I should have opened this bag before I turned on the camera. And here is Robin, who I believe is Damian Wayne, the son of Bruce Wayne, and Talia. I have not read most of his comics. I'm not familiar with the character all that much. So I don't have an opinion on it. All of these character choices seemed really good to me, except for the ones that I don't know. What does Damien look like? He is a really nice metallic paint. And he is a white bishop. Nice metallic yellow on his cape. He has a hood for his cape. I didn't know that. Nice metallic red and green. Anyway, he looks good. He's shorter than Batman. His base is also a little shorter than Batman's. This is going to be the coolest chess set ever. I wish I had them all right now. But I don't, and that's all I really have to say about this for now. Looking forward to getting the rest of them in the future. My only big problem is how am I going to store slash display these? I don't have a table where I can just set up a chess set. I don't have room in my display room where I can just set up a chess set. I probably have to. I don't have room on the walls to mount a shelf just for a chess set. I'm going to have to figure out something, but not for a while. So, anyway, I'm excited about these. If you like DC and chess, I would suggest looking into getting these. Um, eBay has most of them that are out. I don't know where else to get them other than eBay and things from another world. Um, so that is what I will do. Thanks for watching.